Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving deep into the world of machine learning interview preparation. As we gear up for 2024, it's crucial to be well prepared for the questions that can come your way in any machine learning interview. We have compiled 30 essential interview questions and answers, thoughtfully categorized into beginner, intermediate, and advanced levels. Craving a career upgrade? Subscribe, like, and comment below. Dive into the link in the description to fast track your ambitions. Whether you're making a switch or aiming higher, Simply Learn has your back. But before we jump into question and answer, here is a quick info for you. If you want to learn AI and ML from industry experts, then try Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This course teaches in-demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, and many more. So don't forget to check out the course link from the description box and pinned comment. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start with beginner level questions and number one is, what is machine learning? So machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that involves the use of algorithms and statistical models to enable computers to perform tasks without explicit instructions, that is by relying on patterns and interference. And now moving to number second question, that is what are the different types of machine learning? So the three main types of machine learning are, number one is supervised learning, and then comes unsupervised learning, and then there is reinforcement learning. Now moving to next question, that is third, that is what is supervised learning? So supervised learning involves training a model on a label data set, which means each training example is paired with an output label. The model learns to predict the output from the input data. Now moving to the fourth question, that is what is unsupervised learning? So unsupervised involves training a model on data that does not have labeled responses. The model tries to learn the patterns and the structure from the input data. So guys, these are the beginner level questions and now we'll move to the fifth question that is what is reinforcement learning. So reinforcement learning is a type of machine learning where an agent learns to make decisions by performing actions and receiving rewards or penalties. The goal is to maximize the cumulative reward. So now moving to the sixth question that is what is a model in machine learning. So a model in machine learning is a mathematical representation of a real world process. It is trained on data to recognize patterns and make predictions or decisions based on new data. So now moving to seventh question that is what is overfitting. So overfitting occurs when a machine learning model performs well on the training data but poorly on new unseen data. It indicates that the model has learned the noise and details in the training data instead of the actual patterns. So now coming to question number eight that is what is underfitting. So underfitting occurs when a machine learning model is too simple to capture the underlying patterns in the data. It performs poorly on both the training data and new data. Now moving to the next question that is ninth question and the question is what is a confusion matrix? So a confusion matrix is a table used to evaluate the performance of a classification model. It summarizes the number of correct and incorrect predictions made by the model and that is categorized by each class. Now moving to the 10th question that is what is cross validation. So cross validation is a technique for assessing how the results of a statistical analysis will generalize to an independent data set. It involves partitioning the data into subsets, training the model on some subsets and validating it on the remaining subsets. So this was all about that is the 10th question or the overall 1 to 10 questions for beginner level. Now we'll move to intermediate level and here we'll cover 10 questions. So we'll start with 11th question, that is what is a ROC curve? So ROC, that is receiver operating characteristic curve. It is a graphical representation of a classifier's performance across different thresholds. It plots the true positive rate, that is TPR against a false positive rate, that is FPR. Now moving to 12th question, that is what is precision and recall? So precision is the ratio of correctly predicted positive observations to the total predicted positives. And recall is the ratio of correctly predicted positive observations to all actual positives. 
So the formula is precision equal to TP slash TP plus FP and the recall is TP slash TP plus FN. So now we'll move to the 13th question that is what is the F1 score? So the F1 score is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. It provides a balance between the two metrics and is useful when you need to balance precision and recall. F1 score is equal to twice into precision into recall and that is divided by precision plus recall. Now we'll move to 14th question and here we will cover regularization. So the question is what is regularization? So it is a technique used to prevent overfitting by adding a penalty to the model's complexity. And the common types of regularization include L1, that is lasso, and L2, ridge regularization. Now we'll move to the 15th question, that is, what is the bias variance trade-off? So the bias variance trade-off is a fundamental issue in machine learning that involves balancing the error introduced by the model's assumptions and the error due to model complexity. So a good model should have low bias and low variance. Now we'll move to the question number 16, that is what is feature engineering. So feature engineering is the process of creating new features or modifying existing ones to improve the performance of a machine learning model. It involves techniques like normalization, encoding categorical variables and creating interaction terms. So now we'll move to question number 17 and that is about gradient descent. So the question is what is gradient descent and your answer is. Gradient descent is an optimization algorithm used to minimize the cost function in machine learning models and it iteratively adjusts the model parameters in the direction of the steepest descent of the cost function. So with this we'll move to the 18th question and that will cover with the difference between bagging and boosting. So the question is what is difference between bagging and boosting and you could answer this with starting with bagging that is bootstrap aggregating. That involves training multiple models on different subsets of the data and averaging their predictions. Then comes boosting that involves training models sequentially with each new model focusing on correcting the errors of the previous ones. And then we have the question number 19 that is what is a decision tree? So a decision tree is a known parametric supervised learning algorithm used for classification and regression. It splits the data into subsets based on the value of input features, resulting in a tree-like structure of decisions. Now we'll move to question number 20, that is what is a random forest. So random forest is an ensemble learning method that combines multiple decision trees to improve the accuracy and robustness of the model. It builds each tree using a random subset of features and data points and then averages their predictions. So these were the questions that are for the intermediate level. And these are just the basic questions or I will just say the theoretical questions that can be asked in an interview. So be prepared for that. Now we'll move to the advanced level interview questions and we'll start with question number 21 and here also we'll cover the 10 questions. So number one question or that is 21th question and the question is what is a support vector machine? So support vector machine is a supervised learning algorithm used for classification and regression. It finds the optimal hyperplane that maximizes the margin between different classes in the feature space. And then comes question number 22 that is what is principal component analysis. So principal component analysis is a dimensionality reduction technique that transforms high dimensional data into a lower dimensional space by finding the directions that is principal components that maximize the variance in the data. And then comes the question number 23 that is what is a neural network. So a neural network is a series of algorithms that attempt to recognize underlying relationships in a set of data through a process that mimics the way the human brain operates. It consists of layer of interconnected nodes or neurons. And then comes the question number 24 that is what is deep learning. So deep learning is a subset of machine learning that involves neural networks with many layers that is deep neural networks and it is particularly effective for tasks like image and speech recognition. Now I'll move to question number 25 that is what is convolutional neural network that is CNN. So we will start the answer by answering the interviewer that a convolutional neural network is a type of deep learning model specifically designed for processing structured grid data like images. It uses convolutional layers to extract special features or the spatial features and patterns from the input data. 
Now we'll move to the question number 26. That is, what is a recurrent neural network or RNN? So a recurrent neural network is a type of neural network designed for sequential data and it has connections that form directed cycles allowing it to maintain a memory of previous inputs and process sequences of data. So this is all about question number 26 and now we will cover the question number 27 that is what is the difference between batch gradient descent and stochastic gradient descent. So batch gradient descent computes the gradient of the cost function using the entire training data set while stochastic gradient descent that is SGD computes the gradient using only one training example at a time. So SGD is faster but noisier. Now we'll move to question number 28 that is what is dropout in neural networks. So dropout is a regularization technique used in neural networks to prevent overfitting and it involves randomly setting a fraction of the neurons to zero during training, forcing the network to learn more robust features. And now we'll move to question number 29 and that will be about transfer learning. And your question is, what is transfer learning? So we'll answer this to the interviewer by starting that transfer learning is a technique in machine learning where a model developed for one task is reused as the starting point for a model on a second related task. It is particularly useful when there is limited data available for the second task. Now we'll move to the last question and the 30th question. So that is, what is a generative adversarial network that is GAN. So you can start answering this. So generative adversarial network is a type of deep learning model consisting of two neural networks, a generator and a discriminator that are trained simultaneously. The generator creates fake data while the discriminator tries to distinguish between real and fake data, leading to the generator producing increasingly realistic data. And these questions and answers are over and these covers a wide range of topics in machine learning and should help prepare for interviews at various levels. So with this guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the comment section below and our team of experts will reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn.